Elgato screen. Takes a second. Sorry, guys. I think I set this up. There we go. <laughs> sorry. I don't have time in between the things before I smash the thing. Redirect you guys over here to make sure it's synced up properly. Plus, I had to use the bathroom, so I <laughs> couldn't pre, pre do that. So, welcome, you guys, to the stream. We are here. We just got done. If you guys came over from Out of War, much love, dude. Appreciate that, guys. And uh, we are now playing, well, full mining simulator. We played this a little bit the other day. Played for about five hours. Uh, we kind of got used to certain things and how they worked. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna go chill and uh, start mining. We're on the second mine side over here. So kind of give you guys a brief recap of what's going on in the game. We start off in uh, this uh, Stonyway City, and you it tells you to come to come down to this old mine down here, and you kind of mine down in this area. You have a little excavator, and you're good to go. I guess you know we could drive down there. And go back to that mine site actually because we have a lot of stuff down there so yeah let's get rolling dudes freaking mining friday right now guys <laughs> okay let's get rolling Get back down to the uh the, the old mine. Do I really like this game? Uh it's not bad. If it's in the if it's in the same genre, I mean it's I mean when it comes to these type of games, I literally just turn my brain off most of the time. And just chill and play and relax. I know I know the viewers like watching me do mining oriented uh, you know stuff, so I didn't have a, a horrible time playing it by any means last time I played it, so Kind of find the core things out. It's not something I would sit and play for 10, 15 hours at a crack, but definitely a couple hours here and there, you know what I mean? You couldn't stand it? Yeah, it's not it's not for some people, right? Like it de it definitely is not. It's kind of like the same little routine over and over again. That's why I probably only play for about two hours tonight and then go hang out with the wife. I just want to progress into the story a little bit here and like I'm not sponsored to, to uh, say this game's amazing by any means so it's just a review copy and we're not like under contract to say it's great but you know it, it is a lot of people love these type of games just little super super easy you know no brainer uh, get it done type of game and uh, you know it fits with the whole mining theme of the of the channel, like whole well, mining theme, but you know, you know being, an, being a gold rush player for so many years. Sent you a pick in Discord. One sec, hold on. I mean, I've, the demo was absolutely horrible. I mean, I'm gonna be honest there. The demo was absolutely horrible. This version of the game is much better than it was uh, before. It definitely needs a lot more polishing, but overall, it's not bad. It definitely came a long way with the uh, the game. You not wait to buy it? Hell yeah, man! Like I said, it's great. It, it does it does its purpose, right? It, it serves its purpose in the in like the mining space, mining genre of games. So if you're if this is something for you, definitely check it out. You know, if you play the demo. I wouldn't uh, hold the, de the demo, you know, against it because the demo was definitely rough. Okay, I'm not really going to use workers because the workers are just kind of like, I can't do anything else while the workers are working because it has some weird crashing sound. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, I guess pick up where we left off here. Let's go ahead and jump in the tab menu and take a look at the mine site so far. This is the very first mine. We're going to we're going to kind of core out over here, use a little excavator to uh, fill the truck up because we actually have some ore here. And then the other mine has the railway. Uh, we'll try to get some more cash up to buy the other site with the, I think it's the railroad, I believe. So, okay, take a look here. All right, let's see how. Other side. Okay, one thing also too, guys, is definitely do not try and blow stuff up and then save your game and load it. It will not happen. So, 
it'll just delete all the little voxels on the ground. Yep, gotta wait three days to buy it, man. Alright, let's keep blasting out this way here. We're kind of chonking out over here a little bit. Yep, April 11th is the release. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. When I, when I, why is it so dark in here? Options, the view, uh, it's, oh, cause there's no lights. That's why. When I first played the demo, man, I was like, dude, dude that game's horrible, dude. <laughs> like, I was like, nope. <laughs> Not happening but then i was like you know they, they gave me the game and they're like you know check check it out it's not as bad as it was you know things like that right so 24.99 i am not sure how much they're charging for this i did not look at it and they might have a price up now but yo what's up drew I can't wait till Christian does, you know, his stuff because he, he's been talking about, you know, doing mining underground and stuff like that. So hopefully we get stuff like this, you know, and out of war, right? So not much, just finishing up Dredge 100%-ish. I should be doing that at some point. You know, I might play Dredge tomorrow. I'm not sure. I have to figure out what I'm playing tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. You guys can bribe me. You guys know how it works. What am I playing tomorrow, boys? What am I playing tomorrow? You guys can bribe me. Yeah, it's one of those games. It, it is one of those games for a lot of people where it's just like... You know the open world aspect of like say out of war or things like that can just be too much and they just want something a little little bit easier of a on on the brain right because some people with the 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 openness of certain games is a little too much right so and that's nice that there's something for everybody right why well, it's always good to check out some little games if you got the cash and we're gonna blast uh this open get this out of here no, no price yet for on Steam. I was hoping my kids would try the pineapple on the pizza. Nope, it's just you. More pizza for you. <laughs> Yo. Still with candied pineapple. There you go. That's what Dopey said. Candied pineapple, my man. Put candy in front of anything. Most of the time, kids go for it. Love out of war too. Nice. That's why that's why I figured play this as well today. Too as well. You know, play a little bit of both because well where's my there it is. You know, get them in there, get these games. This game's coming out here soon, so Out of War just released all of its new patch and stuff like that, so I guess we'll do it. We're doing a mining Friday today. You guys have been spamming me. Out of war. Out of war. Oh, I didn't blow it up yet. Good job, buddy. What are you thinking here, man? Like, kind of forgetting something there, Split. Got to uh, blow it up first, bud. It's not safe. I'm a coal miner in real life. 
Yeah, that's another thing too. A lot like 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 I I always laugh, right? Like American Truck Simulator. Like whenever I was playing it, it was like, like damn, you guys literally drive truck all day and then you come home and play ATS. It's like, dude. <laughs> yep. I guess if you love what you do, then you want a video game to go with it, right? I'm just excited this game's came a long way, honestly, because I know a lot of people love this game uh, and they love the demo and they just wanted to play the full thing. So, I mean, that's all you guys have talked about. A lot of you guys have been asking me and I, I, like I said, I always look to see what you guys have added onto your wish list if you're on my friends on uh, Steam. And then I try to play those games, right? Because if you friended me on Steam, then most likely you're going to watch the channel if I'm playing those games, right? You'd be interested. Come in and say, yo, split, you know, do this. Kind of help out every once in a while when I need to help if I get stuck. Things like that. So kind of gives me an idea of what I can uh, play. I don't think it's going to be super expensive. Playway generally doesn't publish games that are super expensive. If you look on average, most Playway games run between $15 to $30. So... I, I've seen that. I've seen that. The guy that has uh, has has his, his uh, rig set up in his passenger seat. I've seen that. <laughs> Dude. That's actually quite hilarious. The bus, the bus simulator, the guy your friend plays. The <laughs> dude, I just got mad at that game because I kept running over old ladies, dude. Shane bought it for me, and I was just like, man, dude. That dopey is like at a certain point she was just running them over for fun. On uh, Dredge, you're just literally just farming research now. The raft. Yeah, I got to finish the next two parts. That and Contraband Police too, man. I need to, I'm falling behind in my games because there's so many games coming out. Good thing I have two weeks off, right? Yeah, boys. Doped. Could always send you one to play tomorrow. Oh, I have another game to I know what I'm playing tomorrow. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. Oxygen came out. I'm playing that. I think I'm playing that tomorrow. So watch me kill a whole lot of people on a stranded world tomorrow. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's coming out later though. I'm doing that on May the 4th. <laughs> I'm not a loot. Come on, Amanda. <laughs> Of course you're playing us the Star Wars game on May the 4th. Right. <laughs> you're thinking Everspace too? What, dude. Bro, if you, 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 guys are, you guys are trying to get me hooked on so many games, man. I'm not, I think, I think they're faster when you level up workers. Come on. Right here somewhere. Am I that far out of whack? Damn it. Dude. Move forward more? Oh, just gotta go forward more. Okay, there we go. Uh, Everspace 2. Why is I know I was just looking at something. 
I don't know if that was it. Okay. We got a lot of coal. Mo most of our coal we have is here. We're gonna, it's, dude, we're gonna have to spend so much time shoveling this stuff out. One of the bummer things is you can't, um, not send like equipment from one mine to another. I won't let you do that. All right, let's take a look at the uh, blasted zone here. Second sec here. Yeah, it seems it's, you know, like one thing, like, like my wife, Dopey, she, she has been playing, make chat a little bit. That's so small. God damn it. That's what kicked me out. <laughs> damn it, Shane. <laughs> I'm like, why am I getting tabbed out? I just tabbed out and it came back in. Shane. I, I didn't have to. You just forcibly closed my game, bro. <laughs> Gosh, damn it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you much, bro. Appreciate that, man. Can't play right now. <laughs> like I tabbed out to check something to make my chat bigger, and then I tabbed right back in, and then it tabbed me right back out. I was like, "What's going on here? What? What happened?" Freaking Shane's hijacking me over here. <laughs> I have no clue what that is. I like I I bought the freaking uh, the Planet Zoo or Project Zoo for me and Amanda just because you know I thought she would really like that game and kind of me and sit down and play with her and stuff like that and and it's kind of a game that we can kind of play off stream and and uh, I didn't even get to play it. I was like, damn it, no time. Yeah, Planet Zoo was, uh, it's like 75% off. So I was like, you know, it's one of the games I was thinking about playing for quite a while. And like the builder style games. Okay, let's jump into the cockpit here. Cab. And back in we go. Yep, she just got snacks. She's, she's unloading right now onto my desk. Inventory check. Oh, thank you. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, Gatorade. Nice. All right, can we hit these side walls or no? Oh, we can. Oh, we're saying what? It let me connect in. Oh, over there. Okay. Did you do the Tim Tam Slam? Did we just crash? No, okay, we're good. Oh, we crashed. The, art, the articulation on this thing is a little meh. How did Out of War go? It went okay. We had a little bit of a bobble. Um, the dozer was causing some, uh, caused me a couple crashes. But um, overall, it was good. It wasn't bad. I think it's a, it was a, a decent little stream today. Kind of we're uh, just kind of checking things out, getting the feel for things. I might, I might delay it about a week or so before I actually start really putting in the hours into it so we can, um, you know, just test her out, right? Work was busy. Uh, didn't get to lurk. Bro, it's all good, man. It looks like there's something in there see something glowing
Oh, damn. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, that's a crazy markup. What the hell? That's crazy, though. Maybe four boxes of Oreos for the price for like two dollars. What the hell? Don't be just over there. Don't be just. Don't be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dopey. Dopey's, Dopey's like the, the Dopey's been who you've been ordering through Dopey, DoorDash. The Dopey's been ordering through DoorDash, right? And we can order through the, from the dollar store, and and she orders from them, but they don't have anything that she want that she actually has on her list. So, so the replacement items are way more than what she actually had on the list. Dopey over here be doing life hacks on DoorDash. Like sixty dollar orders for like ten bucks. WTF, dopey. <laughs> you know what? Dopey. Damn it, dopey. <laughs> she she purposely puts items she knows that they don't have in the store, <laughs> just so she can get a substitution. <laughs> dopey be exploiting DoorDash. <laughs> dopey ain't so dopey Did you seriously just get a full shopping bag full of Oreos for like three dollars kidding me right now Oh, that's not including the other snack what The hell Damn, Dopey. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Out of war crashes every time on your PC. Dopey's going to cause DoorDash to update their app. <laughs> they don't like Dopey very much. Not, they keep giving you coupons so not only do you get free crap and they keep giving you coupons <laughs> keep it on the down low dude we had we had a door dasher literally i don't know what happened dude i told you the other day like he, he showed up to the door after like Taking like six hours to get our order or something from was it like no four hours right four hours to get our order and he uh shows up and I, like he put yeah we hear him put it on the door and then like I, I go to go outside and he's like go back inside i was like excuse me um excuse me go back inside what Poor guy had a horrible day, you could tell. Dude. <laughs> Dopey. <laughs> Dopey is like. Yo, what's up, gaming? Okay, there's no weird slime on top of my Sunny D. I'm not gonna get some. I'm not gonna get some, like, weird. Freezer. Freezer if you can. Thank you. Back tower. Oh, we're gonna detonate out these sides here. You're taking your bag of snacks and going to play Harry Potter? Okay. Have fun. Have fun. Got a got a haul there, dude. <laughs> A 
All this food talk and I have to go get some munchies. Yeah, it is that time. I'm just trying to see what walls it'll let me oh, it'll let me connect to. You can see the blocks, right? And then the blocks turn into little voxel balls. Right? So this game uses it too, right? A lot of people use them. They just everybody uses them in a different way. Right? So so many different ways you can uh, utilize the uh, the voxel assets on Unity or Unreal or things like that, right? Well, remember, Dopey, switch and flick. Yeah, Dopey's got a bag of snacks. She just unloaded my desk. Is literally, I got like Sunny D's, Gatorade, queso, chips. She just loaded me up. She just hit me up. Pretty much, that's a that's a leave me alone and just game today, bro. That's what that, that's what that means for me. I'm gaming. You had a blue screen air with it. Did you overheat or something? Damn, a blue screen? You had a blue screen of doom? Uh, if you write down the code, it'll actually tell you if you go to Google and type in the code. It'll actually tell you what you crashed and why what, what it was for. If it was an overheating issue, it could have been overheating. Dopey provided gamer snacks. Yes, she did. Right now we're just drilling holes. Placing dynamite right now. Dude, gaming... Dopey wasn't a gamer either. Right, so... It's just patience and and just trying to find something that they want to play for anybody, right? Like if you push them, they're not going to do it. They're going to fight you. We tried that. Doesn't work. I figure if you give them a computer and you give them something that might be up their alley, you never know what they're going to play either, right? Like new people to gaming. Your wife likes the Sims type type of games. Dopey Dopey's favorite type of game is is like the house flipper games, and like the chef games that like like pretty much playway titles. Dopey's like a playway junkie. Kind of funny because I just make Dopey play all my my sponsored games from Playway most of the time. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's do this. She's playing DoorDash Simulator. <laughs> That's what she's doing in DoorDash Simulator. Thank you. Then this. That's really hot. It's really hot in here. I don't know if the window's open. I think it is. Oh, you closed it. That's why it was so freaking hot. I was like, why is it so hot in here today? Don't we close the window? Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I do have uh, that new game, Oxygen, that came out. The City Builder game. I'm, dude, I'm looking forward to um, the, the City Skylines. The new one. The number two that's going to be coming out some point. Dude, this blast is gonna be massive. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this one. I hope we are. I've never tried to do this many blasts in one shot.
Jewel the back wall too. For sure, City Skylands is going to be epic. Man, I, there's a lot of people looking forward to City Skylands too. Man, we can do this. Damn, we're, this blast is going to be massive, guys. A little bit more. Will the tunnel collapse? I don't know. In their trailer, they show a tunnel collapsing, so maybe we can try to force a tunnel collapse. Game crash incoming. We'll split Blake, break another mining game. Right out, dude. Thank you much for the $10 super chat, man. Loving this game. About to revisit out of board two now too. <laughs> Little Miss Brito. Hello. How you doing today? Oh. Thank you much for the super chat, man. Appreciate that, dude. Loving this game. We'll have to revisit out of or now too. Can you shout out my daughter, Little Miss Brito? Smiling face with hearts. Smiling face with hearts. Smiling face Smiling with hearts. Smiling face with hearts. Okay, let's get, let's, okay. I think we got all of, no, we didn't. Hold on. Can we get the, can we get the mine to collapse? Can we get it to collapse? I thought I recognized your name the other day in chat, but I was just having a, a brain fart, man. I was like, is that, why does he seem familiar? I was like, I was like, why, where am I recognizing that name from? No, I can't do that there. Okay. Yeah, we we tossed out the the old lady, and we got a we got a younger model for the uh things. First time getting to see me live since you subscribed. Welcome, man. Yeah, we threw out the old one. That is all mined except for this one here. This one, it wouldn't let me. Maybe I just didn't line it up properly. Oh, there. Okay, yeah. There we go. User error. User error. I, I place this in a casual category for the simulators. Right, we're out of war and say gold rush are a little bit more advanced. That's where I would place this game, right? Gold rush is, I mean, obviously I find it easy, but some people find it very difficult. Um, but once you, it's one of those learning curve type of situations, right? But I would, I would consider this to have a very small learning curve. A lot of people could get into it. Definitely good for younger, younger players that like simulators. As well as if you just want those kickback, throw on some tunes, relax, have a couple beers, and uh, play, you know? Like certain games, like I was saying, I'm trying I'm trying not to uh, dig real deep into certain games. Just play them for face value and have fun, just relax. You know? Just don't ask her. Just don't, just, there's, there's, a, there's certain lines that you just don't want her to say because she sounds like she's from the South. Like, he's, yeah. <laughs> I I added her. I added that voice specifically for those reasons. Because when she says certain things, she just sounds completely like she's been drinking Windex. So, <laughs> I I have had to do it. <laughs> Hey, get back in there. Turn this off. All right. This, I don't know what's going to happen here, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. There's a lot of, that's a lot of panels to blast. Oh, man. I'm kind of scared. Now I want to know. <laughs> Amanda said not to tell you guys because it's annoying when she says it. Amanda likes money, but she said not to tell you guys. 
<laughs> don't tell them. You don't, don't you dare tell them. Did I get this back wall too? <laughs> Close your door. I don't know if I want to hear it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we don't want to save it because then we won't be able to detonate. So, um, well, we got two ways all the way around the perimeters. Uh, let's go ahead and close the door. This one's going to be a boomer. Let's get ready to blast it. Okay, let's go check and see what happened. All right. Let's see if there's anything messed up. It, oh, damn, the game just saved or on its own. I guess autosave, right? Oh, uh, we just cleared out a huge chunk. It didn't look like all of them went off. Oh, I guess it did. Oh, no, no, it did because the back wall put and then it put this corner piece in here. Okay. Wow, that's a big giant opening. Holy cow. Okay, we we chunked out a ton. Okay, so it did leave the piles on the bottom. Man, the, it is so dark in this game. Hold on here. There's, oh, it's because there's no lights again. Lo and behold. Here, now we can... Uh... Lighting's working, eh? Okay, so that side cleared out. And it looks like all the voxels are on the ground in their pile. And this side cleared out too. Okay, so there it will. I was I was hoping that it wouldn't like if you blasted. I was hoping what was not gonna happen was you blast and it, like only a couple of them spawn uh spawn the ore, right? So right, now we got a massive uh, amount of pickup to do. Bring a little front end loader in. Yeah, this is um a little bit more like to say like I said just chill and relaxed right we're like said out of war gold rush is a little bit more a little bit more brain power needed for that nice chill relaxing different change of pace right too so sometimes when you're sometimes when I play the same game for too long I just go brain dead sometimes I can I can fight I fight through it right depending on how long I've been playing the game or if it's just you know muscle memory pretty much at that point like gold rush Fight through it. Post a link uh, to the game I sent you on Discord. Awesome, awesome. And you can only pick up one pile. I recommend only picking up, trying to pick up one, because what happens is the pile will try to fill into the bucket, which is already full. And you'll like what happened last on last stream. We just had like this big explosion of coal, so. I wish you could transport coal from one facility to another. And it seemed a little weird to me because the, the big giant crane at the Riverwood mine is... It only picks up 100. As well as the little teeny excavator bucket only picks up 100. So I'm assuming the train station probably only picks up 100 as well too. like spike for a crash and coming you play simulator games to not listening to me girlfriend clean your mind this is a good escape huh i mean hey video games are great for that as well right life can be a little bit monotonous sometimes and video games i find to be a very great way to just uh you know have some fun not every day is going to be exciting, right? So sometimes video games can be a great outlet for just relaxing and, and kicking back. That's why I love video games. Not every day is going to be holy cow magical, right? So video games give you a nice little escape from uh, the norm. 
and you can just jump into whatever world you want to for the day. You want to be a coal miner? You want to be a boat operator? You want to be a warlock that just slays demons? Or summons demons? Whatever, you know? Whatever your thing is for the day. I don't get to zone out my my wife. Normally she's in my ear telling me I suck. I'm horrible at the game. Shooting me with a shotgun in the game. Slapping me with a dead fish or, or beat me with a cannibal arm. <laughs> that was once. She's in the, she's got my peanut gallery in the living room right now. I'm not the peanut gallery. You forgot your buttons on Harry Potter? Well, that seems like a you problem. That's okay. I forget my buttons when I'm playing games sometimes. I'm like, what's going on here? What buttons do I, what buttons do I gotta push? Y'all ho, what's up, Glenn? You guys ever do that too? You just go complete like, you just all of a sudden lose all sense of what you're doing in the video game you're playing. And all of a sudden, like, you can't, you don't even know what button to push all the, it only happens for like a brief second, right? You're like, wait, what button did I have to push to do that? Even though you were just doing that action for like 5,000 times. Like, wait a minute, what was I doing? Dude, that happens to me all the time. All the time. <laughs> Dude. I have that issue every time I switch games. Same here. Whenever I'm playing a lot of games, I'll jump in and I'll just be like, I'll start hitting the wrong buttons, like to open up the map tab or something like that. I say we have a petition for the gaming industry that they just uh, standardize all key sets for map. M is always map. <laughs> right. I mean, like, you get, I guess you could always like key bind what you want, right? <laughs> yep. That's why without a war, I just key binded everything to the gold rush controls, right? I was like, I, I have thousands and thousands of hours of playing that game. Why not just use what I know already, right? So I don't have to struggle learning a new key set. Just made sense, right? Everything worked exactly the same. And did I did everything on this side? Look at our coal. We have 5,120. Well, we haven't caused a cave in yet. So we're good here. This is going to be a lot of scoops. 50 scoops to the semi. This is going to be a lot. We're not even done. We still have to pick up a whole other side. Still got this run to do. We got the whole, <laughs> whole other side to do. I mean, okay, I can understand the truck being, you know, the the ex little little tiny excavator being um, hundred hundred a scoop, but the big giant crane needs to be like at least four hundred a scoop. Take out those four corners and it might collapse. Do you guys want me to try to go for a collapse? Is that what you guys want? You guys want me to see if I can go so far where it collapses? Because, I mean, that's kind of what we're doing today. We're just going to have fun. <laughs> Can't we get it to collapse? Just saying, let's go. <laughs> I'm sure, why not? Okay, let's get this out of here. Goop. We gotta go do the other side. Looking a little dangerous. I wonder what that glowy thing was all the way on the other side of the, uh, that we could see between the crack. I wonder what that is. Maybe it was just a, like a, an, like an icon indicator or something, or maybe there is something buried in there. I don't know. 
because there is like there was a little question mark on the the map over on the other side but i don't think we got that far yet we could see it between the crack and the wall that was right here yeah, let me jump out real quick and see if i can see if i can see what it is can i see through no I don't know what that was. It was uh, maybe it was the maybe it was the the like the what's it called? Had maybe it was because of the uh, the blasting rig. That could have been what it was. It was just like projecting through the wall. <laughs> but you want me to take out these corners here? All right. So we got to put a. A detonation on that side. It's just like Minecraft, just bigger blocks, right? <laughs> Gigantic blocks. The game has came a long way, guys. It has came a long way. I know originally, like a year ago, I was like, nah, I'm not playing that game, dude. Not happening. There's just not enough in it. But um, the demo only had like a couple pieces of equipment, right? So but content wise, if you're wondering if it's worth the cash, I'm not going to lead you guys astray. Pretty much you do this. There's the grinder here behind me. There's also a low tunneler. So there, there's quite a different ways to core these things out. The map is about 22 uh let's see so 40 was it 44 squares squared so so if you're looking from the center it's 22 up down left right that's how big the these are we've only hit a couple of these squares so oh other side and look at the look how much ore we've got going on here Still haven't even done the other side yet. We're millionaires. Like my original thought when I saw this game was, it's like, how much can we really do in a coal mining game? <laughs> like, but then again, like I was saying, that's kind of like the premise of most of these simulators. It's kind of like the joke nowadays, right? Like, it's pretty soon we're just going to be playing a simulator or playing a simulator. All right, so it's like, what are what do we really do most of the time in these games? It's just day-to-day -day tasks that these that people do in these industries, right? And it's, it makes for fun little games. Do I ever see these games being like $60 to $80 titles? Absolutely not. And I don't think that they should be. I think they should always remain around the $15 to $20 category. It's great for players to get in and have a little bit of fun and play for hundreds of hours. And that's kind of, like I said, that's kind of where I put these games at. And hit you with a few DLCs, you know, for five bucks here and there. I like how it just yeets it off into the, into the, into the thing. Man, we are getting a lot of Shungite. Like, there's a few things that, you know, I, if I, I would change, I could change, I would change on this game, but... Um, not many like I was saying it is the main thing is the performance on the outside world is a little like the bloom is all messed up or something I already messaged the developers about it I was like yeah your guys is something's wrong with your bloom or something causing some wicked performance problems on the outside oh weird this one this one plopped out ore all over the place interesting
Everspace 2 looks awesome. Well, we're going to be playing this for a couple hours or like probably like another hour and some change. Because I just wanted to make sure I hit a couple games a day when I do stream now because just for my own brain, my own sanity. Variety is the is the thing like I said for the channel for the year. Getting more variety into the channel, playing more games and uh, doing that. So if that's something you guys want me to do is come back and play a little later today. I gotta jump off here after this stream for about like 40 minutes. I have to take care of something. But then I could schedule uh and try out the game that uh Shane just bought me. The thumbs up in chat if that's something you guys would be interested. Of course you guys are gonna say, Yeah, bro, we're streaming. No why I ask these things. That's stupid. Of course. <laughs> Get me hooked on another game. I got 15 games on my list. Let's go. Might as well. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I feel like the headlights could be brighter. Like better lights. I'm just gonna turn the brightness like all the way up. I'm, I'm gonna have to. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. We'll just jack it up. Darkness simulator. Let's go. And that was that. <laughs> that was a lot of ore. That was so much ore. Like <laughs> hundred percent brightness. I can see what's going on. Ye Game looks better hundred percent brightness anyways. <laughs> it actually does look way better. can see bro I oh, still got two piles over here like I was saying I don't I don't know if this thing can collapse I guess we just try right how far can we go until it just collapses on itself? I don't know why we have that annoying like clunking sound that sound is so cringe Just hold hold on man just be patient trust me oh people are panicking right now dude people are panicking right now because the new 50 50 uh, 90s and the 50 series cards are going to be pushed way earlier than uh they um people anticipated so i would just be patient right now trust me it's gonna the price of the, the 50 series cards is most likely going to be way lower than people are expecting so Now they have an overabundance of parts. So, yeah, get ready for it.
Yeah, def definitely hold out, man. Just 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 bite your time, bite your time if you can get a make sure it's a really good deal right now. Because when those when they really hit the announcement on those on the 50 series, it's going to be it's going to be chaos. People are going to be panic selling. I think that's everything on that side. Oh boy. Right, let's, let's blast a couple more. Look how much we have so much ore, dude. The only problem is, is how much ore we have is like take forever to load. All right, let's go take out those corners and I mean, let's try to collapse this thing. I wonder how far away we can get before it collapses from a support. Still rock my uh, 1080. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm doing great on the um I just need the CPU upgrade for cuz I do a lot of different things on one PC, right? But I have a 1080 Ti, a 2080 Ti. So it does it does great. I can still stream and and um 1440p on the same PC. It's just I just push the load over to my processor, which I love the new Intel processor, man. The thing is great. Thank you guys very much for all you guys who made that happen, by the way. Now we're just waiting. We're just waiting for some video cards stupidity to, uh, to uh, do it and then funds at that at that point. But man, if the, if the new 50 series cards are going to be what they're supposed to be, I definitely am probably going to go for a 50 series. Just kind of future proof myself, you know, more than anything. And then that way Dopey can get a better graphics card. She can have mine, right? So more than enough for Dopey. That's pretty much what Dopey's computer is. So she has a, she has a 1080 Ti though. Oh, that's weird. It's telling me I can blast on that side too. Oh, what? Why is it showing up over there? The hell? Yeah, it's pretty much exactly what Dopey's is. The 8700K, uh, 1080 Ti. She has 128 gigs of RAM though. Beast. Yeah, she's got my old rig. It definitely it the 1080 Ti definitely. It, I can tell it needs an upgrade from the games, like the higher higher end games, streaming and playing. It's me, Lumber. Eh. Change your name. Damn, I don't know who you are anymore. I don't know you no more. Sorry, man. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> Why can I blast from both sides? I'm confused. Hold on, let's just tap the wall and see what happens. Here. Let's put some more explosives in. Yeah, I like this style of drilling. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck, dudes? 
putting extra extra explosives in. Well, that makes it easy. What are those little hearts in the chat? What the hell's going on over here in chat? What are you guys doing in the chat today? 100% hearts? 100% hearts? What's, what is going on over in the chat? What did they do? What did they do? You guys see that too? What is that? <laughs> what the? <laughs> when did they... <laughs> When did they add that? What the heck? All I see down the, on the bottom of my chat window, I see uh, arts and stuff spamming out. I just noticed it out of the corner of my eye. I was like, what the heck is that? Arts, like little party symbol. Weird. It's at the donation part of chat. What do you mean? Add something new. I'm so well I guess I can't like I can't donate to my own things I don't I'm not sure what that is I know that they've added a lot of new features but I'm not sure what that's all about none of you guys can see it either though I, so only I can see it well what's the point of that It's on top of donation. Weird. Oh, I guess I gotta close the door. Let's walk over here and take a look at this. See what happened. Oh, it definitely blasted a good chunk out over here. There's a little bubble with a few emotes to choose from. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. That's awesome. So they're just definitely showing some love to the uh the streaming side of chat, which is really good. I know that there's there's a there's a lot of cool new stuff coming out. For, uh, for the YouTube streaming side of it, YouTube gaming. It's going to get a whole new facelift here um, in the next six months. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't see, I don't have that option on my end, obviously, like this ball. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm spamming them. I can see that. <laughs> I mean, it's just over on the side of my screen, like my chat window. Trying to make it, trying to make my chat lag out, huh? Not happening. Sorry, doesn't work. Trying to make them lag, doesn't work. Now, is it for like when somebody types something, or is it just in general? Like, do it on when somebody chats. Am I ever going to play Hydraneer? Um, I don't know, man. Can't I can't answer that. Am I ever going to play it? Probably. I'll just say probably. Do I know when? Absolutely not. I'm just being honest.
It's just it just sits there, just cats. Coming out with the update for a uh, prospecting update. Wait, don't, did that game ever get multiplayer yet? We're millionaires. No, I got a lot guys and there's a lot I can't even tell you about I got a lot going on that I, I can't even talk about right so I can't even hint about it Like on top of just trying to play a lot of the stuff I'm doing plus testing plus I got a job now It's a lot right so I'm trying I'm trying not to make sure the job doesn't interfere with the content but I would like to uh, also wrap up, uh, you know, more content, just different, different, different type of channel this, this year. But, um, you know, definitely playing games that you guys want to see me play. I just haven't had enough people hit me up with it and stuff like that, right? Yeah, it did. But it's screen share. Okay, that's gross. No, thank you. Screen share multiplayer. What? So say if I wanted to jump on and play with you. It's only hot seat. Like you actually have to be sitting at my desk. Is that what you're saying? It's hot seat multiplayer. Or when you load in, you just run around the same screen as everybody else. Sorry, I don't keep up to date on that on that game. Last time I played it, it was just like first month and all I did was just make big giant like blob monsters with their voxel game. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to jump around and bam stuffs. Well, I don't think it's going to collapse. It hasn't collapsed yet. That's kind of crazy. Uh, what should we do? More drilling? Where are we at here? Let's jump out of this here. Let's jump out. This. Open the door. All right. So let's take a look here. What we got? Whoa. So I'm jacked all the way out to here. These are unsupported. So we are... Six squares not supported. Here's the support here. The last support that we did was on this side. Should we just keep blasting to see if it will collapse? I mean, I don't know. Giant tunnel, no support. How, how can this uh, go wrong, right? How can, how can this go wrong? Blast till failure? Okay. Sounds like a plan. Uh, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, it's kind of lame. Nah. I was like, bummer, man. Maybe we could do like a collab with a couple other content creators and play it. But if it's just like stupid screen share crap, no way, man. It's lame. <laughs> That's lame. Blast for sight. Should we go away from the brace? 
I think we should. I think we should go away from the berets to see what happens, right? And what the heck is going on, bros? Hit that like button. Come on, dudes. Smash it up, dudes. We're almost at 10,000 coal. That was weird that it let me place the, um... It let me place the, what's it called? The blaster without it even being there. It made it so much faster. That was really nice. I could just go up to it and just tap the wall and it was like, boom, done. I already hit that like button so I can't hit it again. Damn. Oh, they're all... No, it's the voxels, what it is. They... See, that's the problem with these, these indie devs, right? Is they use these pre-done assets, and they don't know how to code past that, past that. I know exactly what he's dealing with. He changed the engine away from it, and the end, the, that does not have a plugin that he knows how to build. Because when you build... When you build with the... Um, Almost every voxel program or voxel asset that is out there for these engines, they didn't build them, right? So like say for instance, voxel plugin pro, which I know, I know that Hygeneer did use voxel plugin pro at one point. I don't know if they still are using it, but if that's the case, that's why. Cause voxel plugin pro right now is broken for multiplayer server side support. And I know this because, well, I do testing for them. <laughs> like, so I know exactly what they're having issues with if they are still using that. It's a, it's all a server side client issue linking and stuff like that that's causing their issues. The same reason why Christian's not doing multiplayer right now too as well. Same reason why Gold Hunters failed because they all rely on somebody else to build their game for them technically instead of having the skill to do it themselves, right? So. They don't know how to do it, nor do they have the money to hire engineers to build the assets to make their game work. Because here is a main factor in the game dev world. Why would an engineer come in and build your game for him for such a small amount of money when that person's the linchpin on building your game? No, they're just gonna go build their own game and then take you out. That's how the game dev world works. So no engineer is gonna come in and engineer an asset when they could just build the game themselves. Right, so that's why these guys are having problems because they have to wait for somebody else to build the asset for them, right? So it's that's the problem with the, the mining space right now. And that's why Gold Rush is the king right now because Gold Rush built their own. They had the money, they had the funding, they had the, they had the coders and they just built their own. Then you're probably going to go. Well, split Gold Rush doesn't have multiplayer. Uh, have you watched their Have you watched their old trailers? You can actually see other pieces of equipment moving and the dirt getting moved at the same time. So at some point they did have multiplayer into the game. It's kind of like it's it's there. I might as well say it. Like so, they definitely at some point had it because if they if they can control cameras and stuff like that in the game while equipment's moving outside of their dev tools and you can see them digging and working in scoops isn't that technically multiplayer so if they can do it for their videos do you know what i mean but, but other games like gold hunter and all these other things can't get that to work so gold rush is definitely going to be doing something eventually it's just how long is it going to take them hey be nicer to asset hunter dude all I have to say is it put a big smile on my face when this rework came out, just crushing those scam artists. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie, dudes. Where in the... Oh, that's right. I was going to blow it up. Those guys, those guys like scam jobs, man.
Yeah, hope and wait patiently. Exactly. Exactly, man. You you guys cannot tell me right now that if Gold Rush came out with a whole big update for multiplayer and all this new crap, everybody wouldn't be just drooling. Everybody's waiting for it. Everybody wants it. Right? And it, it kind of seems like we're all just waiting for the same thing. Right? But people like to bag on Gold Rush because, you know, they've had... But they've had a lot of problems, guys. Like, honestly. Like, I used to know them all extremely well. They have all brand new guys. It's not the same team anymore. Right? So we have all new... They have all new employees. They have all new... All new people. It's almost a whole new company. Right? So going through all that, plus, you know, getting the game, getting the game to console and things like that is definitely a been a been a hard struggle was a hard struggle for them lots of infighting horrible management things like that it's there's so many more other factors i would dig random holes in multiplayer if they brought out multiplayer for gold rush i'd be bringing uh the game it would, be, it would bring the game back to life i mean gold rush still has a huge player base that plays the game like gold rush has not been ever dead people like to say it's dead but it's not it doesn't have the the three to five thousand people playing it all the time anymore like it did when it first came out no but most games don't right so like the biggest leaderboard that was ever played from what the developers told me was the first leaderboard obviously um and they said that um the amount of people that played when i was playing like the hours i was streaming was insane and then ever since then, it was every leaderboard that I played in had the biggest numbers uh, because just flat out people wanted to try to beat me, right? So they said that was the biggest numbers the game ever drew, uh, except for launch day or launch like launch month. Like, I know that the game has a ton more content. I've played it. I've tested it. I've done all the bug testing for it. I've reported everything to them already. But that was two years ago. That was two years ago. Right? Two. Two years ago. What's up, Burton? Thank you much for the uh, sub. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, two years ago. Right? Like... And what they have to offer is massive. It's huge. People would love it, and a lot of people would come back and play the game. Regardless of multiplayer. But they did need to make a lot of changes first, though. And one of those changes that's already been implemented, and people didn't even realize it, is the the engine was upgraded to a newer version of Unity, which was extremely important for performance. If you've played Gold Rush recently, you probably have noticed a performance increase, a massive performance increase. Uh, sadly, console has been put to the wayside for a while, from what I was told before all the people like left, was that console is in a dark place right now, don't expect an update for a while because the game has to get completely upgraded and balanced and refixed and stuff again and like right now they haven't even put anything with the testers in like i'm not gonna leak anything that's not public by the way guys so like they haven't done anything with the testers so we are all in the dark when it comes to certain things like oh man back in over them with your wheels is not fun don't do that Ow. Yeah, so it's been it's been a long time. Like console was console only had a few it only has like a handful of bugs. But the bugs that are there are really annoying. Yeah, missed it. Yeah, they're super they're super annoying right like i'm not even i'm not even sure man it's like you they leaked a ton of stuff man they leaked a ton of stuff before they left the company like they made reddit posts they did a ton of stuff <laughs> there was some severe there was some severe hatred there when those employees left gold rush like there was some extreme stuff they told like a lot of them were telling me not to ever play the game and and blah 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 to leave the game there was so much stuff going on right but for me i don't i don't want to leave the game because i have a lot of fans a lot of you guys like watching me play that game right so like yeah the game hasn't had an update and stuff like that but it's a nostalgic it's it's a classic right it's a classic game 
Like it's not, I, I, I kind of dislike when people are like, oh, the game, yeah, everything's horrible it, it, because this game came out. That is so stupid. It's just like every game trying to be a World of Warcraft killer, right? You know what I mean? Like I, I just, I hate that mentality now. It's just, it gets, it gets annoying because it's like, well, the classic's a classic, right? So why does it matter if another game beats it? You kind of want another game to come up and beat it, but that game's still a classic. You still spent all those hours. You still loved it. Why all of a sudden do you hate it all of a sudden, right? Just because something else came out means you have to hate something. I, I just don't get the mentality anymore. Like, oh, yeah, it's getting all those hours. It was just, it's just garbage. <laughs> right. No, you still love what you play, right? Like, there's no, it's like, it's like being a fair weather fan in sports, right? It's kind of the same thing with video games that I've noticed that a lot of players like to do. I'm dumb, lol, trying to get dig the entire old Arnold claim with only a shovel. Dude, yeah, no wonder, no wonder you hate playing the game if you hate playing the game. But no, it's good, man. It's it's great. It's good to see. I'm 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 really liking this genre of getting more games, right? That's what I'm saying. You know, like it's it's mainly about the genre of getting more games. As long as the genre gets more games, you know, little niche category kind of grows, and maybe inspires more people. Like, look at Christian, right? He, like he even said, you know, inspired by farm sim slash gold rush and stuff like that, right? Well, what's going to happen in the next five to ten years? Maybe somebody else gets a little older and gets some skills in using these programs and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden we get a new hybrid game. We get a new hybrid game of this or a new hybrid game of that, right? So you never know. Like, I'm just excited to see more stuff. Like some people would be like, why, why, why would you like playing this game? It's like just because it's just chill and it is monotonous. And sometimes I really like that, right? I, I sometimes I just want to chill and chat with you guys right now. I want something kind of just brain numbing, right? So, yeah. Competition is good for innovation. It might push CH to actually get GR2 out. I mean, dude, from what I saw of Gold Rush 2, from the employees that let me play it before, I don't. And by the way, keep the big grain of salt with this one. When they showed that to me, it was a private project. It wasn't funded by the actual development team. It was somebody that was building it outside of company funding so it was not a code horizon product it was something that they were going to build on their own and get and sell to code horizon that is what my understanding is of it of what i got to play but gr2 that was it was a gr2 inspired game it did have multiplayer it kind of looked like it kind of if i was to say it, it looked like out of war now but way more polished and way you know what I mean? Like, cause they, the, the people that build that game are used to already building Gold Rush, right? So they are, they have a lot more backing behind them than, than Christian does, right? So like I guess I'm not trying to take away from Christian or anything like that, but it's just, it's just the truth. That's just the way it is, right? So Christian doesn't have all those assets at his disposal. He doesn't have people that are friends that are like hardcore industry, like you know standard model builders and stuff like that he just doesn't have that are willing to do it for free just for fun because they're sitting down in their in their in their in their pad drinking some vodka hanging out together building a game that they, they might be able to sell for a couple million dollars he doesn't have that at his disposal right so and that's what i played of it so i was assuming that that was what code horizon was going to be putting out so i don't know what happened to it from there but it was amazing it was great and it was awesome and i kind of see little hints of it from what christian's doing you know he like where he's trying to go with it so it's like you know the unreal engine is very powerful it can do a lot of cool things and i think it's gonna do a lot in this gaming space right so i don't think we're gonna collapse here anytime soon but as far as code horizon building gold rush 2 i'm not sure if they even are i don't think they are they've invested a lot of money into gr1 i don't think that they are This game still reminds you of Gold Rush. Uh, they use a lot of the same assets, but I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't see the playstyle matching Gold Rush at all. I don't see the playstyle matching one bit with this game. It's a completely different thing, right? There's like a very small base game system. There's like no diggable terrain.
Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't I don't see it. Right, let's keep pushing here. Keep on pushing. Are we gonna get this thing to collapse? I don't know if we are, guys. I think it's I think it's just gonna let us go forever. In the game, in the in the actual develop in the uh, trailer, it shows like a collapse. So maybe that's just some type of uh, excitement, you know, like a teaser. Or... Let's hope, right? So, what are you guys hoping that this game brings? If they do like, say, if they do DLCs and stuff like that. Like just different types of equipment, just polish the game more. Like, or do you do you think this should just be a one and done type of game, where they just you know here it is, do all the stuff and then that's it? Probably just need to go wider. Okay, man, we'll go. Of the wall. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's the point of bracing if it's just not going to collapse, right? We just broke 10,000 coal. Space engineers could probably be turned into a decent mining game. I mean, look at what we've gotten in the last seven years, eight years, right? Our wife called missed the last uh, 25 minutes of stream. All good, brother. You know, it's definitely like, look what we've gotten, right? Let's let's go down this whole wall face then. I guess there's nothing stopping us from having to stop and pick up the, the ore, right? Maybe we'll go on that wall face first. We'll only focus on like an L and see if we can expand it. Well, your family might be gold miners, but this is a video game. Most of these games don't really match real life. And I have mine for gold too, so. And worked in heavy equipment. It doesn't mean that the game physics are gonna be the same as the uh, actual thing itself here. Damn it. Space Engineers is a mining game would just turn to be like out of war is. I agree with that. I, I would, I agree with that. Okay. I know what that green dot is now. It's the, it's the blasting square on the other side of the marker. What's up, Matthew? Yeah, I used to do that before I was heavy equipment operator. I worked on a, I worked on a, a gold site. They where they did gold and other minerals and stuff, sorting plants and things like that.
I'm in, dude. Like I'm saying, I worked for a company. I didn't uh, ever get to play with the gold. I was just a general operator. Few days off due to rain, man. Well, hopefully it's not too brutal on you when you actually get back to work, bro. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's like you get days off and then you're like, you come back and you're like, crap, the workload is just stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Dan, yeah, Dan, Dan is, I think Dan actually lives on uh, the island actually here. Or one of them, some, some prospector YouTuber lives here on the island. I've actually uh, met him at a restaurant actually, which is kind of funny. Oh, it will be crazy. Bummer, dude. But it's work, right? It's got to get done, huh? Ready. Damn it. Off here. Over a little bit. Yeah, it would be kind of cool to do something be able to have equipment like this and out of ore. But it'd have to definitely be reworked. There's other things too. Like, dude, I'm excited to see what he's bringing. Like, I know of a couple things, but dude, it's 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 gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to see what he uh, what else he brings, and how the patches come out and the performance. Mainly, mainly the performance, right? Because I want to see a lot of people play that game. I, mean, I want to be able to see. I want to see a lot of people come in and do that. Play, uh, play out of war. I'd like to do a painting trip. It's like some on the opposite side. Ready for this blast. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of panning areas and stuff like that around here. There's a lot. You can't really do a lot of dredging though. Because you have to have a lot of permits for it. So, like a lot of the rivers here have been completely untapped for a really long period of time. But uh to get to to be able to work those areas are pff, permits, 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 then land rights. Mineral rights, it's just a pain. But you can go metal detecting, you know, like rock cracking, crevices and stuff like that. That's what a lot, that's what a couple of the YouTubers do. Uh, there's a couple of YouTube channels here on the island that do that. All right, let's see here. Blast, that's what we're doing. We are blasting. Boom. Okay. Welcome to the coal mining world. I wish we could get that to go away. I can't get that to go away. Oh, well, that looks like that helped. Oh, why didn't why didn't this one? Did I not drill this one? Rip. Well, let's just keep drilling. <laughs> let's just keep drilling. Now I'm more curious versus making money than, you know, can we make this thing collapse? Now let's blast this one out in the corner. Oh, wait, whoa, this one didn't blow up. I knew I drilled it. Or wait, did I miss a drill hole? 
Oh, I did. That's why it didn't go off. Well, what about this one down here? Oh, that's just the corner piece. I can't, I can't leak anything that he has told me not to leak. So you won't get any, inf any information out of me when it comes to uh, content that he's going to be dropping. Last thing I'd like to want to do would be to break his trust, you know what I mean? So I don't have an NDA or anything like that, but, uh, you know, building a friendship with somebody, the last thing you want to do is stab him in the back. <laughs> like, yeah, sure, dude, just leak everything, bro. You just need a lot of money. Money solves everything. Yeah, money. It, it is. It, it's an expensive thing, right? I mean, I've I've looked at possibly getting a few little claims around here to do some high banking, but it's uh it's a little expensive. Plus the the trips out there and everything like that. Like it's pretty far away from where we're currently at. So quite a bit of a haul, right? So. No, I don't. I do not have that game. Open this up. I just need to get it out of the way so I don't run over him and cause an issue. You know, I don't know if you can unload that into the thing. I haven't tried. I haven't tried to load it into the low loader or anything. Maybe we'll try that real quick. Because there is two different loader types in the game, so, or trucks. Oh, there we go. I just had it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, uh, I'll give that a shot and see what happens. See if we can actually pick that stuff up. Like carrying, yeah, carrying one pile all the way back every time is like, oh, breath. Get the stuff out of the way. Like, I don't really, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I would why would you want to use the workers? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I kind of feel like the game is la is lacking a little bit of content, so why would you want to use the worker? The workers just do everything for you, so you just I guess if you just wanted to be a mine manager, I guess that's what you could do that for, but I mean, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I feel like I would I would lose content in the game if I had the workers just do everything for me. We have this little truck right here. It's literally just parked right there. So let's see if we can. Oh. It won't let me back it in or put it into that one. I doubt it's going to let me put it into the other one. I don't think these things even in real life dump into a thing. I think they dump into a conveyor like they do in here. I'm not sure if there's any underground coal miners. Let me know. Nope.
Maybe they'll add it eventually. Yeah, something. It'd be cool if you could add conveyors, right? Conveyor extensions. If I could extend this over to like the other shafts that I'm working in. That'd be kind of cool, right? Hell yeah, right? That's what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to use the workers right now as well because whenever you use the workers, you're not allowed to do any work because all you hear is this loud banging sound. Sounds like you're running into a pole and the, the, the noise is like ex extremely insane. Okay, I'll use the shaft now. Can't wait till the 13th. Or the 11th, sorry. Thir I don't even know myself. Okay, it looks like we're not collapsing yet. Still not collapsing. We got this, boys. No support needed. Yeah, the 11th. You're right. I was just, it was me. I was just having a brain fart. Well, I don't. Dude, that should have collapsed by now. <laughs> Damn, dopey. In the living room, just sneezing away. Gonna spend hours playing it. Yeah, I know this is a really anticipated title. I didn't, I didn't realize it was you guys. So many people were looking forward to this, man. I mean, I guess I should have got the indication when people kept asking me to play it for like the last year. I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't have it. I just have the demo. And if I did have the full version back then, I couldn't play it because I'd be under embargo and I can't just play it. Gosh, yeah, you can only pick up so much. No, no, no clue how much it's going to be yet. Uh, typically, when developers give us review copies, they like let us know how much the game's going to be. As well as like, as well as like they give us like a, a press pack and stuff like that. They didn't, this guy, these, this dev team did not do any of that. So it was kind of like a little out of the normal. So... Like normally they give us like screenshots and stuff like that and like the ability to like hide HUD so we could take good screenshots to advertise the game. Nothing. Like it was like just absolute nothing. They tell us like what day we can play the game, you know, and stuff like that. Like it's just crazy. Yeah, I I, I would say twenty dollars would be fair too. I agree. I think twenty bucks would be a would be a fair shake. Right now, I'm just stocking up cash. We'll finish out this. Obviously, we have not gotten it to collapse yet. So. I, I'm just happy that they definitely did an improvement to it. Right, because the demo was a little rough when I played it last. Do I have every vehicle? Yeah, I do. I'm just using. The, we're just kind of testing the blasting right now. We'll go into some other type of mining here in a second. It's, well, this is just not caving in. So thought maybe they would do a, a cave in at some point. Yeah, we'll go do some uh, some tunneling. They have the low tunneler and then they have the high tunneler. How did you become a VIP? Probably uh, somebody gifted the ch when they gifted to the channel. We had a lot of gifted subs this month. I think we had a total of like 130 gifted subs or something like that. Yeah, the demo was a load in and a nope, 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 nope. Yeah, 
the demo was very rough about a year ago very 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 rough I got you I feel like royalty hell yeah dude very kind people supporting the channel and they just throw it out there so it means it means you've been here you've been hitting the like button and things like that in the past so YouTube rewards the people that uh, talk and type in the channel and hit the like button and things like that right so leave comments in the videos and stuff like that so if you've been here and you've been doing that even if you haven't been for a while or you haven't been active you had in the past YouTube kind of remembers that so no the ask the excavator is very 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 janky <laughs> like I'll tell you that it needs some work <laughs> They need to, uh, they need to work on the excavator quite a bit. Only pick up one pile at a time too, guys. Don't try to merge piles together and things like that because this thing only has a certain amount that it can hold. And then you'll notice it'll turn red. When it turns red, that means if you try to pick up anything else, you're dead. So red is dead, boys. Don't pick up anything else. See, and then it turned red when it's full. So you're only able to pick up one pile at a time. Yeah, you have. So yeah, it's what it is. They just, it, you, it'll go down the list of people that are on the highest priority list uh, to get memberships just due to activity and how long you've been on the channel for, how active you, you've been either in the past or whatnot. So even if, even if you're not even in the stream, people have been noticing that lately. They're like split. I didn't, how come you, how, how were you able to charge my card and give me a member? It's like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I got an email that said I'm now now I'm now a, a member of your channel again, and I didn't pay for it. It's, did you read your email? It said it was gifted. And do you think YouTube would give us the power just to charge your credit card for our memberships? What the hell, Dingus? <laughs> right? It's like it doesn't work that way, man. <laughs> I've had a few emails about it. It's kind of funny. A few messages on Discord. <laughs> I'm like, could you just please read your email properly? It says you've been gifted a sub sub. It does not charge you in any way. <laughs> uh, doing pretty good, Mike. How you doing, man? Yeah, so if you've been gifted, it's just because uh, some people have been spamming. Spamming those gifteds. Freaking Senny. Or does it? <laughs> That would be that would be pretty hardcore of YouTube, man. <laughs> like you've been gifted a membership, now you're being charged. <laughs> yeah, Senny Senny dropped like sixty gifted. Oh, we got to pick up our mess. We're building an underground uh, bunker where the Scientologists live. Got to get this work done, guys. Last thing we want is them up our butt. Build an underground city. It is immersive to what you're doing, right? Like, it is immersive. That's one thing you, you always want a video game to do. I'm like I'm worried like YouTube's gonna steal their social shirts number. <laughs> oh man. Can we bring back the what's up trend? What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Dude, it's always hard to come up with a with a as a content creator like what you're gonna say in the beginning of your videos because like there's so many content creators right that have different like sayings and how they do things. so that guy was hilarious though dude the guy that did that what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up he just like did it it's so cringe <laughs> oh that what's up okay that's yeah that's a different one that one was dude how long did that last for man holy cow I thought you were I thought you were talking about the uh 
the YouTuber that like did the crazy what's ups in the beginning of his video. Where's your damn it, not card, not credit. It lasted too long, IMO. I agree. The scary movie? Yeah, dude, that was, that was, uh, that lasted way too long. That was one of those things that was like, oh, goodness. Holy cow. Absolutely not. <laughs> nope. Well, or like how many content creators say, well, hello, everyone. Like, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are the ones that get you? What intros get you guys the most whenever you hear it? And you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> I was doing it lately just to see how many people I would cringe out. <laughs> What, what, what YouTube intros get you every time? You're just like, damn it. <laughs> it hurts me to my soul. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Howdy diddly doodly. <laughs> Oh, it's a beauty of it. We all love it. Or hate it. Yeah, people freak out when they're like, something happened through YouTube. I don't get your money. It's socially awkward. You can hear your videos. The other day when I was recording the, uh, when I was recording the, um, the out of war patch video, like I had like an earworm so bad, like an ear, like I just felt like my voice sounded completely different. And I, I had to ask Amanda, I was like, Amanda, do I sound different right now? Like what's going on here? And it's just happens when you record and stuff like that. Eventually you'll hear yourself differently, especially when you're speaking through and you can hear yourself at the same time. Right. So you'll, you'll stutter on your own words, being able to hear yourself. It's a very hard thing to do. Right, so it's very, very difficult. I just, it's in, sometimes you just have to just eat through it and just forget about it. Tough one. Hey, buddy. We got tons of money. Doing voiceovers is the absolute worst. I don't have a hard time with it, really. Like doing them, I don't, but it's um, it's hard to recreate the moment when it happened live. I think that's the hardest thing, right? It's like you were doing something live. So, so when I record, I record and I don't let, I, I record my voice when I'm playing and I talk like I'm streaming, right? But it doesn't go to the audio track of the game, right? So it goes, it's a completely separate track, right? So that way I can, if I make a mistake, I don't have to edit out the whole clip, right? I can keep the footage, but I can do a voiceover or a dub, right? So that way, if I make a mistake or something like that, but I can still, then I can, I can use that track as a reference track to what happened but then I can go in and either add a joke, enhance something, or something like that, right? So, or sometimes I just leave that track. If it did fine, I just go with that, right? Just. But if you don't have a reference, then you have to sit there and write a script out and you have to figure out what you're doing and. <sighs> Oh, I absolutely hate the sound of my voice too. Absolutely hate it. 100%. I hate hearing my voice. Absolutely. 
cringe dude hate it i i immediately like if i even my own when amanda's watching tv and my channels come up because on hers i'm like turn it off <laughs> turn it off now turn that turn that shit off <laughs> i don't want to hear that get out of here man i don't want to watch a crappy video anyways <laughs> i think it's just normal for most people i think most people don't like hearing their own voice you gotta remember though you never sound you don't hear what other people hear right so that's like when you guys told me for years i sounded like seth rogan it's like what are you guys talking about i do not sound like seth rogan bro no Amanda said it's because I used to smoke so much pot when I first started streaming. <laughs> oh, man. Facts. 100% facts. That would definitely be a... I don't think we're going to collapse this thing. I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, we cleared out a pretty good chunk. I mean, we gained over 12,000 coal. <laughs> Cheater. The thing that I don't like about streaming in the camera is the amount of time, the blank expression on your face. I can't stop it, dude. I got resting bitch face syndrome, like hardcore, and I kind of look like a thumb. So it's like, I just kind of look like my big toe is depressed. Okay. And it, I can't stop it. Cause when I, I just, you know what I mean? Like it just, it, I don't, it is what it is. <laughs> right? Like. I just, I just, it doesn't, it doesn't, when I, when I see other streamers that do the same thing as I've seen myself do it in my own footage where the camera's on and everything like that, it just doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, it does, it's not appealing, right? So I just, I don't like it when I watch other streamers. So why would I put it on my stream knowing I do the same thing or, you know what I mean? That's kind of like the thought behind it. Okay. Big toe syndrome happens a lot. You don't like your voice? Okay, let's go outside and play with the, uh, let's play with the little excavator. This is going to hurt my soul. Mofo must be behind on the conversation. I think so. I can almost tell when someone's behind on the conversation. But how their how their chat's flowing. So he'll hear this in like four minutes. And then he'll be like, oh crap, I was out of sync. <laughs> uh, oh man, it's so bright outside. No. Go back inside. You just pre-ordered the new Jedi Fallen Order game. When does that come out, by the way? When does it come out? Because I just bought the first one, like the deluxe edition, for like five bucks. Cause it was like 90% off and I have not played it yet. So when does that, when does that one come out? Cause I definitely want to play that game. The 28th dude, bro. How long does it take to beat that game? Is it like a long game or is it something I can just smash out in like three days of binging it? Like, oh man. Oh. Took you three days? Okay. Not bad then. Yeah, I don't know why YouTube has been so hard. It's been slipping. It's been slipping really bad lately on people. And I'll notice that like... 
Ah, see, I told you he's he's like three minutes behind, dude. Three, four minutes behind. I told you guys. Here it comes. Get ready for it. He's gonna hear that here soon. Get ready. This is gonna be a classic moment. It's gonna be like, but <laughs> bam. Oh man. <laughs> oh, holy cow. <laughs> I, I just know I can see it in chat, dude. Off stream, it can be finished instantly. <laughs> oh man, dude. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why YouTube's been slipping lately on their, on their um, encoding and stuff like that. It's, it's definitely a thing. They've had, I've been noticing it on manga too as well. When I watch YouTube, it's like it slips and all of a sudden you're like a minute back and you're like, what the hell? Has the best lightsaber combat of any game. Okay, let's go and get this loaded up here. Um, that is a lot of coal. Hold on here. Shungai. Hmm. I mean, big money. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, my work editor is not fast. <laughs> That's probably what it is, is if you buffer once, it doesn't bump you to the top part of the th the part of the thing that's probably what it is is you might your internet could have had a hiccup or something for a brief second and then youtube doesn't put you to the front of the live we're at the at the work buffer in in effect uh rip yep that's what it is it's so bright out here welcome to the outside world dudes the performance is a little on, on a little out of whack over here as well, too. All right. Yeah, the performance out here is like a little laggy. A little scary. Okay, we're going for the big money stuff. Like, coal does not sell for anything. The running coal over here is kind of like crazy. That's right. We got to turn this thing on. It paused the stream. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep. He buffered, it paused, and then it never put you right back to live. Dude, I agree. Give us the big loader, man. Dude, I'm trying to like... I'm trying to use my goal rush controls right now, dude. At least you don't have to be like super precise with this thing, right? Just kind of like set the bucket there. All right, one scoop 45 hours later. Hey devs, can you guys like fix this? We don't mind your game, but Pro hammers. You like make this not so junky? Can you not get this asset off of Turbo Squid, please? Like a nine year old made it. Was that even a scoop? No. Looks like a gold hunter asset. Oh, hey, it just gave me a scoop.
<laughs> exploit digging, dude. Gold rush exploit digging. Where you still can't lead, lead, win leaderboards even exploiting. <laughs> Noobs. I mean, how bad do you have to be to exploit and cheat and still lose? Right? Still waiting under 4090? Dude, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the uh the new stuff. Again. The 40 series should have never happened in the first place. It's a freak show. It should have never happened. They should have just skipped a generation and said they got greedy. I played this uh, prog. I might uh, pick this game up when it comes out. Well, there's definitely a lot more stuff. I don't remember exactly where the uh, the prologue came what you got to do in the pro, but yeah, hopefully the price is good, dudes. I really do. Oh, I'm already done with the contract already. Okay. Well, don't make some money then. Jump out of this. See? Calm down. Whoa, dude, like Let's see what <laughs> Holy cow, man. This thing is like. Sorry, I just had a, had a moment. It's moving so fast, it's making tracers, dude. Look at that. It's like falling apart. It's a. Like, it's, it's, yeah, dude. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? This thing's like. This is what I do to your mom. Damn. Someone call a priest. <laughs> that thing is, that thing's uh, a little aggressive there, man. Like, like shadow warping. They, they need to turn the bloom down or something, man. <laughs> that's that's does that how you guys see how fast I dig in gold rush <laughs> compared to you guys? You're like, dude, split. You need to slow down. You're digging too fast. <laughs> uh, gotta dig faster. <laughs> that's how you went at gold rush seasonal total. <laughs> oh man, dude. All right, we got money and we need a bigger amount of money. Hard coal. That's a lot that dude. I gotta make 12 scoops. Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. No, you mean, you mean to tell me I got to do 150 scoops with the excavator into the truck? Gross. I'll just move this stuff here. It gets some money built up here. No, that's just, that's literally just how fast it moves, right? Like that's li literally how fast the excavator arm moves with your mouse. It's just like, it's like 8,000 DPI or 100,000 DPI. <laughs> 
It's on crack. Um. Oh, whoa. Ah. Uh, I think I broke something. Whoa. What's going on? Is it bloom? Something is like really. It's only when she shows something. Is it their volumetric fog? Is it? Could be something along those lines. Something's like. No, you see the world. It's like. Whoa. Okay. When you're, in, when you're in the equipment, it doesn't do that. Mm, I beg to differ. I think they could have skipped the 3000 and the 4000 series, to be honest. They could have skipped the three and the four and just came out with the five. I think the five series will be equivalent to the two series graphics cards. Like the two, the, the 20 series graphics cards, especially the TIs were great, man. Performance to heat and everything like that. TDP, it was just fantastic. They did such a good job. I think that the, uh, the three series and the, the four series were kinds of shit shows. And the price was just stupid. No, I noticed a massive improvement over the uh, the 1080, dude. I already had 1080s, bro. That's fanboy shit, bro, bud. Everybody told me not to get a 2080 Ti, and I'm glad that I did not listen to them. <laughs> like, everything that everybody was saying was completely wrong. It's been the coolest card for everything I've had performance, how much I pushed it. It's been, it's nothing what people were saying. Yeah, those are the cards I had was 2080s, 2080 TIs before getting this one. Massive improvement. Yeah, yeah, 3080s, are, they're not bad cars. I mean, it's not like they're horrible, but were they needed over like a 2080? Hmm.
like I don't I don't need monster FPS right like I don't as long as I get my 60 FPS because I'm not really playing the games that need you know 444 FPS on my matched monitor and everything like that. I don't need it you know so if you really need that stuff then yeah it's a bigger factor for you right but like they kind of debunked all that stuff anyways right like better refresh rates and stuff like that don't make you better doesn't mean you're going to get more kills in call of duty and things like that you're just kind of flexing your your wallet if, especially if you're bragging about it right like you're kind of just flexing your wallet really to nobody it doesn't make you better like shroud and all those guys already proved that they did those videos and the tests of, like all the top pro gamers 60 fps to 140 fps really didn't make a difference so especially if you play simulators and stuff so buy what you need for the performance you need it at or buy for longevity right future proofing oops hit the wrong button there that's why you should be buying something i mean future proof what's up mike like i know i'll probably not be able to afford a 50 series card more than likely and it's probably gonna always unless you're eventually you're gonna have to bite that bullet and to spend a shit ton of money Oops, I'm already done with my contract. You're gonna have to do it eventually, right? Like, I know eventually I will have to get a card upgrade. And when I do, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> now graphics cards cost almost as much as the top of the line cpu ram motherboard you know mid to high grade stuff like you can get the whole tower minus the graphics card for the price of a graphics card now absolutely stupid 100 percent stupid that's why consoles are so appealing right like Yep, that is true. That is true. A lot of people like to argue that, but your eyesight really can't do anything past 60 anyways. That's true. You know, but the most, the average, yeah, you're right. The average eyesight of most humans in, on this planet can only really do around 35 to 50 FPS anyways. If you have perfect eyesight, you're lucky if you can see, was it past 60? Is what it was. Yeah, exactly. It's all exactly, man. It's 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 insane. All right, let's uh keep running, and getting some cash, make that money, dudes. It's all a sales gimmick, right? Really, is what it is. If they can add gaming to anything, people will buy it, especially the younger crew, right? And then the younger crew goes out there because they're like piranhas. They want to attack people for not having the latest and the greatest. And make you feel like shit because you don't have the latest and the greatest, but you're like, dude, I'm completely fine with what I have. I don't need that. <laughs> I like. So I guess my eyes would still be lagging. Yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah yeah definitely like when gold rush was at like 30 to 38 40 fps it didn't bother me at all like i was like eh, it's just fine i mean most movies are only what 30 30 to 32 fps right like
Okay, let's keep uh, filling this up. We got uh, like three scoops to go. I kind of want to get the money to go over to the next mine site. You guys really think VR is? I know I've asked this a long time, a long, long, long time ago. You guys really think that VR is, is the next step in gaming? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. And now the computers are just getting way more expensive, when they were supposed to be getting way more cheaper, so everybody had access to things like VR and the whole big VR push. You know what I mean? That like AMD was trying to put on us, like in all their things, they were like, you know. VR is the future of gaming. Our goal is to make the computers under $500 and run like full 4K VR. Whatever happened to that business model? Like, you know, whatever. Remember, remember them standing up on stage and saying that shit and they introduced like the VR backpack and like, then all of a sudden they like changed pace and they're like, nope, five times more in price and availability is hard to get. Let's go. Screw the gamers. Except for the ones playing League of Legends. <laughs> like, what happened? I was going to switch to AMD until they did that. They just flat lied. They flat lied, man. They just were like, yeah, all of our gaming systems, the highest end gaming system will cost under $1,000. Best processor, best video card. It'll be competing with, with uh, Intel systems under a thousand bucks. I don't, you don't think people will ever get into wearing them? Yeah, I think that's the thing as well, too. I don't think it's I don't think it's there. I don't think it's gonna be there. I think I think this the next step in gaming is gonna be way different than we think it's gonna be. Gaming's very niche. I think yeah, the gaming VR is very is very niche. There's a lot of people, lazy people that don't want to get up. Like and uh and do stuff. I agree with that. I think in certain gaming genres, it's way better than others, like driving games, fighter pilot games, things like that, where you do it seated, but not enough of those games are mainstream enough. You know what I mean? They're not mainstream enough to make it really crack out and be really good, right? Like, so I don't think you'll ever, I say you won't ever see it, but it's just gonna take, it's too much. There's too many genres where it doesn't play well, right? And there's, there's too many lazy bastards. <laughs> Fun fact, I have a VR set. <laughs> What do you, what kind of games do you like? What, what type of games, if you guys do own VR, what type of games do you guys think play the best? Not what you personally like, but what do you think are the best games to play? My, from what I've always played on a VR, I always, the fighter pilot games and driving games. That's it. I haven't really played other stuff, so I can't really say, but those are the ones I always saw look the best for me personally. Motion sickness is also a thing in VR too. I agree. I get extremely motion sickness. Extreme motion sickness. Uh, let's just do a couple more of those. Let's, get, let's make some cash here. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you check uh, security cameras because your neighbors? What'd you miss? Oh, we just been farming. Farming. Now we're uh, selling. We blasted out a huge ca a chamber. So let's go and take a look at that real quick. And we didn't get a collapse or anything like that yet. Now we're just kind of shooting shit. And chatting. Like Beat Saber and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. I think it's gonna. It's gonna have to go. I think gaming is going to have to, it's going to, it's going to have to skip VR. 
It's gonna have to be some hardcore cutting edge tech. Brain interface shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's gonna have to be, dude. You know what it's gonna it's gonna have to be something, man. That's the question. If if brain interfaces got so hardcore advanced in our lifetime to be able to play in your mind, like just sit there and you're there, how many of you guys would do that? A lot of people are like, no, I don't want no tech in my body. Dude, I would. That'd be awesome, man. Like the gamer movie, like the movie gamer? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's coming closer to reality, right? So... Comes a cyborg. If it crashed, would you? I mean, no clue, dude. I mean, if a monkey can play Pong with his mind, dude, you know, just saying. I mean, it still probably has more skill than most of the gold hunter players. Just kidding. I know some of you guys like that game. Sorry, I gotta make fun of it when I'm playing mining games. Just what it is. I love you guys. Poor monkey, man. He didn't die by the implant. He died because he was addicted to crack there putting in the banana mush. Poor monkey. Said it, I probably just missed it, man. Not to offend anybody, dude. I think we all know what the best thing for VR is. I just was trying to avoid that. <laughs> hey. The pawn word. The old P word. My only problem would be doing that would be something accidentally flips in the next scene and you're like, I don't want that. I don't want that. No. And your wife smacks you with a cucumber. She knows what's going on. You're like, I don't want that. See bad things happening. Just stay away from that for me. Not allowed. Not allowed. Too many people have their feelings. And their feelings? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, dude, it's changed a lot in content over the years, right? Like, I remember the things we used to be able to say seven years ago. <laughs> we can't say, like, 90% of it now. Everyone just gets offended. It's all right, though. But without going to, you know, you guys know how it is. Comedy took a big hit. Everything took a big hit in the last, like, seven years. Like, I've noticed a big, giant craze in how things changed. Definitely need to save for it, yell. Doesn't want a couple of games to ticket to ride. I 
How long until Ready Player One is a real thing? Ooh. Okay, if anybody's seen that movie, how many years do you guys think we're actually out from that? Like, Neuralink gaming type thing. I would say we are about... I want to say we're about, because we're getting ready for a big, not far, yeah. I would say at most, to be that quality like the movie, 20 years. It would be the longest, I would say. We're within 20 years. Uh, Elon Musk is way farther than Meta is. Meta is working on the software for it, pretty much. But the Brain Link interface, they're they're so far behind Elon when it comes to that. Dude, like, what isn't that guy doing? It's insane. Oh! Oh! Million. Need more Suge Knight. You mean full bodysuit and all? Oh, so you're meaning not like... Okay, you're meaning... Yeah, you can already do parts of what that is. Like, some of that's already kind of, like, already in. For that, yeah, you're looking like... It's most of it's already actually out. It's just the quality of it, right? And maybe 10 years for that, I would say 15. It's probably going to go hand in hand with getting that style of things deleted, right? Right, so both of them kind of have to work at the same in the same space and then one's gonna make the other one ops the the full control you know optic thing is gonna eventually just be phased out is how i'm feeling it's gonna work yeah you can already get those type of suits there's a lot of crazy stuff out that they have now wickedly expensive How much, King? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Within the context of what the movie... At that point, Skynet's gonna take over. So we got 425k kilograms. Then we have to load up of this. Put the bucket down and drive into it. That's how you fill it up around here. Oh no, I no, I know exactly what you're talking about, Oz. Some of those training facilities, some of those training things, are insane, dude. Even compared to the ones that they allow civilians to see, those training simulators are nuts. Nope, you can't move the truck closer, sadly. Why didn't they put in a wheel loader? I good question. I don't know. Exactly. Like, why didn't they put a, wheel, uh, a, a front end loader here? I don't know. Maybe they just want to have an excavator in the game. Not sure.
Dude, a lot a lot of things are are crazy like a lot of things are really crazy like what they what they said that it was going to come out technology wise and it's right there like it's already there and it's already came true like it's so insane like all those youtube videos from like 15 years ago that are like at this time at 2025 we're gonna have this or that 2010 this is gonna come out it's like bro i can't watch those anymore they're actually just coming all true <laughs> no like what are we getting med bays bro <laughs> isn't that supposed to be here soon you just get in there and it heals everything or is that like 10 years to 15 years from now star wars wasn't just for entertainment it was a goal let's just hope that it's not like james cameron's vision of uh space man because i don't <laughs> xeno's running around you know <laughs> no thank you bro i don't want to go to the bathroom and look up into the ceiling vent to see if there's something in there gonna ready, ready to pwn me not cool Mm -mm. Nope. Think of Back to the Future, they were a little off on that one. <laughs> right. All right, this should put us over a million. Here we go. We got a little off track here, but that's millionaire. We just got an achievement. Woo! Heck yeah, dude. Let's go. Let's go for a ride. Let's go. Let's go check the other mine site out. Still want a DeLorean? Time traveling DeLorean. You like the uh, steam powered train engine time machine? How much was the train site? I don't know. No clue. You have to go over and look. I have my brightness jacked all the way up right now, guys, so. That's because it's a little, it was a little dark inside the, uh, whoa. You're more down for a time traveling hot tub. All you gotta do is just get loaded. That sounds like way better than a time traveling car. Whoa, there's like a little bump there in the road. Blackstone mine. We're going this way. That's Riverwood mine, which we already own. Blackstone. Seems like 62 is the top speed. 63. I mean, I'm full, full throttle on this thing. all damn could have came here way sooner wtf <laughs> okay 
Um, let's go here. Okay, there's the mine entrance. Oh, it's a crane again. Okay, it's one of those cranes. And the railway's right there. Check it out. Triple threat achievement we got for having all three mine sites unlocked. And they give you these two things right here, right off the bat, which is really expensive. A million, like one five, pretty expensive. Okay, we got to clean up some garbage real quick here. Dude, they need to buff the crane. I'm, I'm just saying. Right? I think it's, I think it's stupid. I hope the crane holds more than 100. Let go of the damn freaking thing, dude. Listen, whoever keeps blocking these doors needs to get beat up. Man. Back again. You guys like our nice futuristic conversation we had today? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> so uh, has anybody uh, been, is anybody gonna be watching? I know I'm gonna be watching it, dude. I think I'm just gonna stream it, dude. I might play KSP the day of the Starship launch. And then when they get closer to countdown, I'll, uh, I'll just, um, Flip over to the SpaceX stream um, on my on the channel. So it looks like they're going to be going for like April something, like April some sometime in April. First orbital la launch attempt of Starship, biggest spaceship ever uh, launched. Gonna be crazy, dude. Sounds intriguing. Dude, if you are not sure what's going on with that, that is something you should be looking for. If you guys have not are not aware of that, definitely, definitely go do a little bit of information on what Elon Musk is doing with SpaceX. They are getting ready to do some crazy, 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 crazy stuff. Like here within this, within the month of April, right? So. Yeah, biggest rocket ever. Ever, pretty much, right? The N1 was the closest. If anybody can get to Mars, it will be him. Yeah, if this, I mean, even if this launch doesn't go great, it doesn't matter. It's just a test. It's a test run anyways, right? I mean, I know the news is probably going to like smash on him and bash him, but if they don't succeed... Or if it crashes and burns or whatever, but that's kind of what he wants. He said, he said, either way, it's a win. If it, if it, if it makes it off the pad and it blows up in the air, it's a win. As long as it doesn't blow the pad up is what he said. I don't care. It's pretty much what it is. Last thing you saw was a helicopter drone on Mars. That was big, but let's just put it this way. The spaceship that he's making right now will be able to launch a full-size helicopter or maybe even two or three folded up and put inside. Dude, it's it's insane. Hundred tons to hundred ton to low Earth orbit, man. And one shot, insane. All right, shop. Okay, so we're here. Let's do a little bit different mining. Oh yeah, I'll watch it, dude. I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna be streaming it. So. When it, uh, I'll probably be playing KSP during that time, whenever they get ready and get closer to launch. So.
Mm -hmm. We're not sure exactly what time that they they're putting on it. It's they said it's probably going to be in between April 15th, to April 20th, but it could be delayed even more. It could be delayed even a month. Who knows? A month or two, right? So it is something that's kind of crazy. Like it's going to, if, if this thing actually is successful when they find, they will get it successful. It's just a matter of when, right? It's uh, but it's, it's going to be their first attempt at launching the whole thing stacked up and everything, man. Crazy. And the craziest thing is they're going to try to catch this thing, dude. Eventually. Not like right anytime soon, but they're going to try to catch this big bastard when it lands. It's not even going to be landed. They're going to catch it. They're going to catch it out of midair, dude. <laughs> Look. <laughs> but, uh, this thing is what? 20 stories? It's like catching a skyscraper, dude. Oh, I guarantee you they're mining on the moon. That's why they're trying to get there. 100% dude, that's not even a question. So long. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna try to catch this thing, dude. They build a tower with like mechanized arms and stuff for it, bro. Like I said, if you haven't if you haven't checked it out, man, or checked out any of that stuff, definitely check it out. Like it's some some bizarre shit, dude. What's going on in the space in the space uh it's like space space industry is insane. It make because everyone everyone forgot about space for so long because how long everything took and now it's like wait they're doing what they're gonna catch a giant rocket the size of a freaking building yep <laughs> and it's not nasa doing it either so it's like dude <laughs> it's pretty cool stuff yep we're gonna eat this thing into space the official yeet machine yeah dude it is pretty cool Yeah, Shane, I agree. Hopefully they hopefully they make it off the pad and at least close to orbit, man, is, is what I would hope for them. That way they can get they can get some really good data. I mean, I think they said they're going to try to do a land that landing out in the ocean, but they're not going to catch it this time. They're not going to try to catch it this time. That's when they get the other facility up and running and they're going to try and catch one. Think about the size of this thing, right? The diameter. You know what he's going to be sending to Mars, right? He's going to be sending one of those tunnelers that he has. And he's going to be building a subterranean city, dude. You know what's happening. rock will sell for a fortune you wonder who's gonna be first to mars like you mean like country or who i don't know man like to put a foot you mean put a put a person on like mars do you guys think it's actually gonna be him Putting the first human on Mars, I think it's I, I think it's gonna be. 
Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be him. His company. Oh damn, I forgot to uh forgot to run the power. Oopsie. He's gonna send influencers. <laughs> true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> so true, dude. Tim Dodd's going down. <laughs> Everyday astronaut. <laughs> Poor dude. There we go. Now we're talking. We're on the third mine. We're on the Blackstone. We are in, ready to work. This is probably where we're gonna, probably the, the site we're gonna stay on. Because it's, um, got the train, dude. The train looks cool. people we don't like in the space of it watch they come back and make lightsabers i'm down i'm down that leads to the question how many of you would go to space if you were asked to by by elon bro I would definitely go for sure. 100%. Dude, that'd be one hell of a ride, man. Oh, yeah, dude. Today's been banging, bro. Not the first trip. No, I'd... it's been in general. Oh, dude, I would definitely, I would definitely take a Falcon 9 launch. Like he's uh that shit's down. They got that shit down, bro. I run more of a risk of dying sitting on my toilet probably than jumping in that thing right now. The core was used for the black saber. Oh dude, don't even get me started on the Mandalorian this season. Bro. We'll go straight nerd. Heck yeah, man. We've just been mining away. We played out of war off in the coal mining simulator. I'm going to take a break for a little while and I'm probably going to come back with some of the, uh, the game to shame to pick me up. See what that's all about. I got to get some stuff taken care of around the house, get some food, 
stuff like that. And then uh, we'll come back for a little bit later of a game. Rocket ride, yes. Mars, no. <laughs> I'd go to Mars. I would. How good is Mandalorian season three? It's pretty good. Good season. Don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but that's a good season. Game is Everspace 2. I have no clue what to expect with this game, so chain led me astray. Damn it. You go to Mars, Shane. Nah, they wouldn't make me the mine boss because I'd be sitting around with all the miners going, think we can push in an extra 500 feet or we're going to cave in? And one of you buttholes would go, yeah, let's do it for science. And I'd be like, all right, let's go. Yeah, they wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I get rocking with beer and smokes. <laughs> I just want to see the train, man. Here for the train. clue what this game's about i have to look after this after the stream i will be back though guys just gotta give me like an hour at least an hour but it might be it might be faster now so Shane picked me up ever space too. So we're gonna, I wasn't planning on doing another stream tonight, but I think Dopey, you're just playing that, aren't you? Okay, Dopey said, yeah. No clue, me neither. I don't even know what it is. Never even seen it. in the camera right here. When are we going to finish old stream farm? That shit's gone, dude. This is just going to beat me up if we try to play farm too many times soon. You guys know how it is. It ain't happening. 
farm sims i'm gonna say this right now farm sims gotta do some crazy stuff to bring us back to play because they lately they have not been doing enough sorry it's a little disappointing and a lot of you guys love farm sim dude but dude they need to do something more agree with that shane it's not bad for what it is or what it is but it needs more it needs more it's just not enough i know they've been adding new stuff and patches but it's just dookie the world looks like poo poo i'm sorry it could be so much better the machines and everything look good but the gameplay is getting a little stale with the whole pallet system and stuff and like, i don't know like it's, it's nice. We've played over a thousand hours of it on stream and everything. But it's just not enough. Like, I don't know. Just can't do it no more. I mean, eventually we'll revisit it, but they got to do some work to it. Like, would you guys rather see us playing Farm Sim or, or, or like, Sons of the Forest? Right? Like, because that's what it boils down to. y'all enjoy honestly yeah i mean we did we pushed a long time on 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 the forest right not forest but um on farm sim it just became like a we were only playing it because you know like yeah it was just what it is right like but don't be soul was dying <laughs> she was like my soul's dying i can't do it no more Oh yeah yeah construction simulator we didn't mind that but even that got stale kind of quick like because it wasn't like enough it just got real like meh. and then like multiplayer was cool and all but it wasn't tuned good enough right like two players somebody always had to do the dumb task right like or someone was always stuck in a crane or you know what i mean it was just kind of seemed like it was not balanced properly for multiplayer not horrible well i just launched some uh stuff onto the uh pad there and it came in a little hot nice yeah i saw the jcb update so i'll have to take a look at that and uh maybe do that dopey didn't completely hate that game so game went pretty good on the channel everyone seemed to like it so yeah we covered the patch uh last night on uh stream fun patch a lot of cool features the solar panel system all that stuff man it was good dude we're waiting to uh we're, we're kind of giving that a little bit of a break right now because we got such a giant task of work to do so kind of just a little bit of a break from it at the moment also gives me time to finish up a lot of these games i've kind of been getting into your VTOL, dude it seemed like everybody else right off the bat figured out that the, you could hit the snare jumps with the thing and jump real far i saw like a billion videos on it last night i was like oh okay we aren't the only ones to hit the turtle shell and go flying on this thing but I didn't see anybody else holding the gliders, though. So I was kind of like, eh, you know, should I put something out? Does it really matter? Because every time we put something out for Sons of the Forest, we really generally don't get very much traction because, you know, everybody, the market's so flooded, right? So 
you could do something that nobody's ever done but it's so flooded by the big guys it's almost like it's better to just go lay in bed with my wife and hang out and get up and stream the next day vertical take huh yeah uh, the new patch is great man I mean, it's it's really fun to see what they're possibly going to be doing with it right that's the possibilities of what could be right that's what I, that's what really gets me uh, going with when it comes to certain video games is hmm what's this thing going to be how's it going to turn out are they going to expand on this idea or is this all it's going to be hypothetical what if you know what i mean is always the the big draw in for me jump out damn dude you gotta check those cameras a lot buddy holy cow Post a link about year one info. How long has this game been out for, dude? Like five years? <laughs> year one? You gotta make sure you're connected. Did you find the uh, solar panels or did you build with them? Yeah, we went through the, we found everything. We got the night vision. We got, um, we got the solar panels, light bulbs. We hooked everything up. We uh, did, we tested the lights and stuff like that out with all the building system. Uh, we got the night V uh, unicycle ride thing. We built the snare trap, play with that a lot. Mainly just kind of dinked around. Kind of chilled. It was, a, it was a fun stream. You like the new patch for Out of War? Yeah, it was a, it was a good, uh, it was a good patch. It was a good patch. It was a good step in the right direction. So, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be playing Oxygen. It just came out today. And then we'll see what this other game we'll be playing here tonight. We'll just do a, we'll do a Shane Rando game of the day after this here. So, okay. I don't know how much I have. Okay. That's all I have here. Okay. This is cool. Cause this tells you how much we have here. So we have, I can do this one. Yeah. He did a great job. Looking forward to seeing uh, what he's going to be doing with the, uh, the whole thing, right? Like now that he's got the game kind of reworked and he has a better, he has a better, stronger base game. It'll be nice to see uh, what happens next, right? I'm starving. I got like snacks next to me and I'm just like. Second.
Let me out. Yeah, I'm munching. Get some freaking food. Carbon. Like just crunching in your guys' ear. <laughs> what am I eating now? Now that you guys just heard me chomp on some chips. I'm eating Tocito scoops with a uh, dip. <laughs> I'm like, here, you guys want some ASMR of me freaking eating, dude? Oh, uh, the train's here. Man, I gotta turn my brightness down when I'm outside. That is gnarly. There we go. Sorry about that. Gotta check that live on Sons of the Forest. All right, here's the train. Oh, those are too good, man. The scoops. Okay. And we're going to lower the get rid of the UI. Hate when games don't add a remove UI button. Oh, okay, we're full. Like a big old scoop. Ah, where's this thing go? Right here, apparently. Uh, this thing still only takes a hundred. Same with the excavator. Damn it. They need to make they need to make this thing bigger. At least 200. Come on, double it up, devs. I got just filled. All right, I'll swivel this thing around. Oh, there goes the train. We first completed our, completed our first sale from the new Blackstone mine. The train's pretty cool. The river place is really cool as well. The river cool. Loading into the barge is pretty fun. The boat over there. Kind of, you get to use the same crane. It definitely beats the little excavator for sure. Intentional slowdown for sure. Uh, 100% agree. I feel like the tuning of the game is a little off. It should be lowered quite a bit. The money is just absolutely crazy. There we go. We're still over a million, but we do have to buy a lot of machinery for this uh, place, like the blasting and all that good, happy stuff. But I think this is the mine that we're going to continue to work on here and uh, move out, right? We won't use workers on this because the workers are just like, I don't know. The workers are just too much. Let's go to the, uh, let's go to the shop here real quick. I don't think I can buy anything else or any any other upgrades. I don't believe. I don't believe so. Take a look here. You don't want to have to use them all the time. Yeah, I agree. That's kind of that's kind of bummer. 
We already own all this on the other mine. In the other mine, this dude won't, dude. Expensive. We already have one though, so we don't need another one because we're not really gonna be using the workers. Like I'm saying, because the workers, the workers, when you're using them, they, it's just that loud banging sound. I guess if you just play with no sound, you can use them and work at the same time, but that's kind of annoying as being a content creator. You're like, oh, come on, dude. I wish we could, I wish we could assemble these belts. That'd be kind of nice. Be able to set belts up to these tunnels over here. So you don't have to drive as far when you're super deep into the mine. Cause like I said, you could go, hold on, let me zoom out. You can go 22 squares this way in every direction from the middle hub. Yeah, so it's 22 squares if you count every time it flashes from here, from this center section. So that means you can go 22 this way, this way, and this way. So it's a gigantic amount of squares you can chomp on. Pretty cool. Yeah, all the way out to here, see this? all the way out to here. So there's definitely a lot to um to dig and move and make your mine shafts and do things like that. You can also go into this menu. Say so you want to click on this, you can add or delete rocks, set up your workers. You can go over to here and you can create a um intersection. Lighting, let's see fixed lighting. Lighting's working. Is broken. You could also uh, place a crossroad tunnel in there. Go either way. Jump into that and show you guys what that looks like now that I placed a crossroad. You guys missed it on the stream. Now we'll see we have a arched dome with like the wire mesh support. So now I can go that way when mining or that way. And it kind of cleaned up all this broken rock and stuff like that that wasn't quite perfect. So you kind of place a thing and it puts lights in for you guys too as well. I think my favorite mining machine is probably this combo here. This with the truck. The blasting's fun and all, but it kind of gets like, you know, if I if for me personally, I if I if my my most enjoyment would be playing with the um the the road header thing and the truck. Cuz the blasting's kind of like, you know, it just poops out a little pile and then everything kind of gets deleted, right? So I don't know. For me, that's I think this is the the method that I like gameplay style wise I mean the blasting's a close second but I think this is probably a little bit more on the fun side just grinding and uh, grinding the wall face and kind of doing that and then driving this back over and dumping it I say it's probably the funner for me personally but the blasting's kind of cool too but the other low grinder is kind of I don't know not not know if I'm really a fan of that one but um yeah kind of what we're going for but dudes I think I'm uh done with the mining games for the day uh, I will be back a little later, so you won't get redirected to another stream. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys smash that like button for me if you guys could. And uh, I will be back with some other games tomorrow, as well as tonight. We're coming back, and uh, we're going to play uh, the 900th time. Like, not even on my radar, so I'm just like, huh? Everspace 2. That's what it is. Play some Everspace 2 and uh, kick them back. So I got to do a couple things around the house and stuff like that. First, set the stream up. Probably going to jump in the shower and stuff like that, you know. Sitting here for like the last six and a half hours, sweating. Yeah, definitely want to go take a shower, grab a little something to nibble on. Set the stream up, download the game, get the game running, and all that good stuff. So uh, we are taking Sunday off. So there won't be any stream on Sunday and there won't be a stream on Tuesday because I'll be gone on Sunday and Tuesday because Easter. So yeah, dudes, but uh, we're going to still be continuing tonight. So if you want to uh, make sure you guys join discord, uh, I'll be posting a link when we're going live in there in case you don't get a notification because YouTube loves to just not send notifications out to people sometimes. So join discord. We'll add everybody. So you get a notification there and uh, you can kind of check it out to see if maybe we might be live on there as well. But uh, yeah, dudes. Much appreciated for you guys coming in. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like me playing certain games, please leave a comment after the video is done. Let me know. Yeah, I want to see you play more of this game. Stuff like that. It lets me really know what you guys like seeing. The more comments, the more most likely I'll be playing that game again soon. So make sure you guys leave those comments in there, dudes. Much love. Be safe if I don't see you again later tonight. And we'll catch you guys back in a bit. Peace out, dudes.